Well, hello, everyone. This is Henry, and I'm your host for Ticket to Life. I hope by the time you hear this, your holiday season is halfway over because we are um, about to head into 2023. That sounds crazy, but it is going to happen if we like it or not. But honestly, that's a blessing. If you have lived this long uh, and, and you're my age, that's amazing. If I sound a little off, it's because I usually am a little off. No, I'm just kidding. I'm getting over the flu. And I did not want you to be without a podcast to start the new year out, right? Because I know you all look forward to these because I look forward to talking to you. Um, I hope everyone had a great Christmas uh, with loved ones, with friends, or if you decided to spend it alone in a peaceful, quiet surroundings. I hope that was wonderful for you. Um, many of us, um, I used to have this habit of when, well, I still kind of do, except for Christmas, I've gotten better. Once that holiday season is over, I stripped my house of any decorations. I mean, there was a time that on Christmas night, once the kids went to sleep, I took down my Christmas tree on Christmas night because I couldn't wait, excuse me, to have the house back to normal. But I, I do put quite a few decorations out in my house for Christmas. So now well, I take my time. I I will have my house back to the normal blah, because I just love the festive lights in my house. We have them everywhere. I, I just love Christmas. I love the time of year and what it means. But anyway, we are going to talk about resolutions. How many of you even know what that is? A lot of people just think, I don't know. I just do it. I eat black eyed peas, have some champagne, and then uh, wait for midnight, I guess. And then sip of champagne and go to bed. <laughs> well, resolutions, it means actually, if you look at it in uh, and Google it, it means the end of a story. So it occurs after a big part. Now, this is in literature, uh, a big part of a story, like the big climax where the characters uh, resolve everything. But for us, a resolution is something we try to hopefully improve in our new year or do. And I'm going to go over some suggestions that I have had from family and friends for their New Year's resolutions. Um, but before we even start on that, you know, I need to give you a little bit of history. Auld Lang Syne, the song that was playing at the very beginning of the podcast means time's gone by. It was written by a Robert Burns, a Scottish poet and lyricist. And I'm sure you have know the first few lyrics because by the time you get to the third or fourth lyric, and if you've been drinking, you won't remember you are. Everybody's just hugging each other and swaying. Hey, long song, you know. But it is a great song. It starts off, should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind. To me, that means... <laughs> Get, leave those past, those things in the past in the past. Let's not bring them back up. And then in the second um, part, it says, we'll drink a cup of kindness yet for the sake of Auld Lang Syne. And I think that's really true. And I, that's a great song to hear. And if you've never um, really paid attention to the words, listen to it the next time you hear it or look it up on Google. And it is, it is interesting. And um, again, just a little bit more history, not on Robert Burns. And he was, I told you what he was and what he did. And um, the uh, New Year's resolution uh, thing started back in the 19th century. And some people even say, or historians say, it could have started even in the 17th century. And it was for people making these resolutions for many years. So it's been going on for years and years. It's not something we started in the 1900s. <laughs> uh, they were also breaking them, breaking those resolutions and using them for naughty behavior, even before the new year pretty much uh, started. <laughs> so pretty much like us today, we make all these wonderful things we want to do with our lives. 
and we try to do them. And, you know, I asked a few friends and family if they could share some of their uh, resolutions. I told them the one thing I did not want to hear was weight loss, because how many of us have said, I'm going to lose weight this year? If I actually did not break that resolution so many years in advance, I would probably weigh 10 pounds because I'm always saying this is the year. <laughs> but anyway, I told them they couldn't use that. So, um, and I also got some off of, uh, Google. So, um, I'm going to hit just this pretty much about res resolutions and maybe give you some ideas. Um, um, some, some of course would lose weight, get organized. Uh, who doesn't want to be organized? I mean, I do. And sometimes I can be, and sometimes I cannot be. <laughs> so, uh, being organized, just organizing your life because, and I feel if you have an organized household, it kind of helps you organize your life. If, um, your desk or your office or wherever you might work is an organized, it kind of throws you off. But of course, you know, a lot of people that are not organized can tell you where everything is exactly. And that's always been amazing to me. Um, one of the things was pick your battles. One of my friends said, I need to learn to pick my battles because sometimes I hang on to things and instead of finding the simple solution, I keep finding the wrong thing because I trying to pick from one thing to the other. So is so I think that's a really good one. So be, that's a good one. Pick your battles. Um, save money. Who doesn't want to save money and try to spend less? Okay, I've been saying that for years too. Uh, <laughs> uh, quit smoking. So if you're a smoker or drink too much or cuss too much, then guess what? This is the, the year. This is the year you can quit smoking, drinking, cussing, and doing all sorts of stuff. Or at least give it a go. You could try that. Um, I guess I could start smoking. And if I started smoking, it probably, I could stop and say, hey, I succeeded. But I don't think that works that way. Uh, travel more. And that, that's a good one because you can travel more and it can just be a road trip. I don't have money to go off to uh, the Caribbean. Well, you know what? That's okay. There are beaches as near pretty, I'd say not in every state because there's not, that would be silly, but um, pretty close to people can drive to a beach if that's what they're looking or mountains because the U.S. has so much to offer. And I think we tend to forget that. We have a beautiful country and so much to see and you can drive it or, you know, it is probably cheaper to take the bus. Yes, you can still take the bus. I don't know. I haven't been on a, a bus line in who knows how long. So I really don't know how, how good those are. I guess I, that'd be something. If you have ever taken a trip on a bus, email me at ticket to live 022 at gmail.com and let me know how that trip was. <laughs> Did, was that great for you? I don't know. It read more. I do read a lot, but a lot of people tend not to read. And I highly recommend reading. It literally is like taking you to the movies. You can read and be in another world. And you literally, if you get a real good author, oh my gosh. If you like love stories and stuff, Colleen Hoover, she's great. I just, I'm not a real big romance kind of reader. I know I liked the suspenseful kind of thing. Uh, Karen Slaughter's a very good author. I read some of her books and they're just really good. The kinds you can't put down. But anyway, so find a good book, find an interest. Um, something was read. No, not read. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. Okay, just a break in all these resolutions, but would you believe that less than 50% of resolutions are successful? I am in that category. <laughs> I don't think I've ever followed through uh, in my 65 years of following through a resolution. I just haven't. But maybe this is the year. <laughs> um, let me see. Religion. Uh, this is from Madame K. Um, she says she is ready to go back to church. And a lot of people do say that they are ready to go back to church. Um, and they just kind of like, how do I start? I haven't been in so long. So I think it's very important. But she says, um, 
she would like to get back into church and she feels as though God has been talking to her about it. And ah, uh, let me see, talking about, and I need to stop making excuses, she says. Funny, but her brother-in-law, who hasn't been to church since he he's became a member of the family, just talked to her about wanting to find a church. And she felt as though it was like, okay, God, I hear you. So I think that's awesome. I uh, hope she does find a wonderful church for the new year because God is everything and he can see you through anything in life. So good luck, Madame K. Um, a resolution. Uh, hold on. Okay. Oh, being positive. Doing something positive. Um, this is the next one. Doing positive daily or weekly. Doing something positive for yourself some, or something for someone. Compliment someone or even compliment yourself. Literally, if you look good, you need to look in that mirror and say, man, I look good because it'll make you feel good. It will make you feel good because I do that all the time. No, I don't, but maybe I, I will start this year. Volunteer. Think about that. Think if you have spare time, if you're retired or stay at home, mom, because your kids are in school and you are at home, think about volunteering and don't volunteer at the school unless you just need to be there, but volunteer someplace where you know you can meet people outside of the school. Cause I think that's great when people do that. And of course, drink more water. We all need to drink water. Uh, be kind, be kind to others. People you don't even know. Just be nice. How hard is that? You don't know what anyone is going through in life. You have no idea. Somebody can be hateful at a store and just either stand away or give them a smile. You don't know what they're going through. Just be kind. Kind. Of, and then guess what? It doesn't cost you anything. It does not cost you anything at all. So I think we all are capable of doing that. Um, let me see. What else do I have here? Um, oh, well, here is another one that someone submitted. And Christine says, while in church one day, the priest was talking about resolutions and how the majority of people's resolutions are guided toward themselves. He suggested making one that would help someone or others instead. So since that day, my resolutions, when I make one, is geared toward giving to others. It is certainly a better feeling in my soul instead of guilt that I screwed up and ate chocolate or drank the adult beverage or cussed. Oh, okay. So I think that's great what she says, because that is awesome, because that is true. We do care if ever just about all these I've read are geared towards ourselves. And to think um, to help someone else, I think that's awesome. So thank you, Christine. Um, and here's another one. And this is from JB. And she says, I love doing the one word resolution. It's a word I focus on throughout the year. A few years ago, my word was health, and I made sure I did all the yearly doctor visits, which had been, which had been years since I had been to any doctor. Last year, my word was connect. I worked on connecting to new people and to my family. I haven't fully committed to a new word. This year, I think she means in the coming year, 2023, I need something that will help me be a better person. Anyways, I like the one word resolutions. I think that is amazing. Thank you, JB. That is awesome. That is, I mean, these are great. These are wonderful. These, all of these resolutions that people have shared with me to share with you. Um, here's one this is a good one 
random act of kindness, which that, that kind of falls on being kind to everyone. But how about doing a random act of kindness to, for someone you literally don't know? Um, like being in line at, I don't do Starbucks, but at Starbucks and buy their coffee behind you. Uh, McDonald's. That's funny. I don't do Starbucks, but I randomly like to have McDonald's coffee. So again, I love the simplicity of life. And yes, there will be a podcast on simplicity of life coming up. Um, but anyway, so that's a great one. This one is very hard for some people to do. It's not weight loss either. It's stop gossiping. I bet you can be with a group of people. And I'm not just going to say women. It could be men also. And they can sit there and talk about other people that they all know. <laughs> and if they didn't have someone to talk about, guess what? More than likely, there would be silence at the table. <laughs> that's horrible to say, but it's true. And you know it. Well, that's pretty tough again. That's a pretty tough one for people to do. And yes, I'm, I'm, I gossip. I'm, I will tell you. Yes, I do. I. I'd be lying if I didn't. I say, oh, yeah, did you hear what happened to so-and-so? Um, but also you need to remember gossiping is about telling something very personal. Now, if someone tells me not to say something, I'm not saying it. Um, I'll spread it on the podcast worldwide. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no one's going to trust me now. <laughs> but uh, no, if someone tells me really personal stuff, I do not share that because that is their story to tell and not mine. Of course, between Arthur, uh, that's our pup that we have, and my husband, they know everything. Well, just about everything. Someone does tell you something personal that you really should not share, then you should not. But starting a rumor, now that's bad because rumor is the person may have gossip, they may have something about someone, and then they add embellish. They always embellish it. They embellish the truth with a dash of rumors. And either way, we need to stop. So I will do that. Maybe that will be it. So when people say, hey, Henry, do you have any gossip? I will get up and walk away. We'll go to the bathroom or something. <laughs> but anyway, um, these are some great things uh, for us to do and for us to try for the new year. Of course, all of us are individuals and we all have our ideas of what we would like to do and what we would not like to do. I, on the other hand, uh, one of the things is healthy, getting healthy. Um, I did go to the doctor for my, my yearly healthy checkup, you know, blood work and all that. And, uh, she says, so what do you do for uh, exercise? And I looked at her and said, um, I get out of bed. I chuckled and she just looked at me. She did not find it humorous, but I did. But anyway, so I know that's one thing. I've had a lot of knee problems this year and woe is me, um, but I am fine. I am grateful that it's just knee problems and I just am thankful for the life I have. So Pretty much this wraps up New Year's resolutions for 2023. I am so excited about 2023. 2022 has had some crazy stuff happen in our family's lives, but guess what? They're blessings because we have lived through them. Uh, we are thankful for everything we have. I am thankful for you, the listener. I hope that you have a wonderful New Year's Eve. Don't drink and drive. If you drink and drive, it could be bad. Don't. So don't. Do not say, oh, I'm fine. Find someone to take you home. Or, or if, wherever you're at, hopefully if you're at a friend's house or whatever, ask them if you can sleep over. I don't think they will turn you down. So please do not drink and drive. Do not start off your year in a body bag.
I know that that sounds pretty harsh, doesn't it? But I'm being so honest. I want you to have one of the best years in 2023. And I really want to thank all of you for supporting me and listening to me. We're going to be a year in March on uh, Ticket to Life, and I'm really excited. I cannot wait to celebrate. So on that note, I would love to say Happy New Year and... Have a safe and wonderful 2023. And guess what? We get to find even more blessings this coming year. <laughs>